The Silence of the Lambs was one of the most shocking thrillers and disturbing, too, in film history and introduced us to one of pop culture's most iconic villains, Hannibal Lecter, a brilliant psychiatrist turned cannibalistic serial killer. Now NBC's new drama Hannibal takes us back to the beginning of his story when he's known as just a psychiatrist. Hugh Dancy plays one of his patients, an FBI profiler who's tortured by a special ability to think like the serial killers he searches for. I don't know this kind of psychopath. I've never read about him. I don't even know if he's a psychopath. He's not insensitive. He's not shallow. You know something about him. Otherwise, you wouldn't have said this is an apology. What is he apologizing for? He couldn't honor her. He feels bad. Well, feeling bad defeats the purpose of being a psychopath, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Then what kind of crazy is he? Nice to have you with us this morning. You play this, um, this FBI profiler mm -hmm. who's sort of empathetic. Yeah. Towards the people that he's trying to figure out. Yeah, which doesn't mean necessarily that he sympathizes with them. Right. Just that he finds it very easy, maybe a little too easy, to uh, project himself into their minds and, and uh, you know, walk in their shoes, if you will. So what's it like for you as an actor? I mean, I imagine it's a great role, but at the same mm -hmm. time, is it mildly disconcerting to then go home at the end of the day and be dad? <laughs> uh, I understand why people would think that, but the real end of the day, the way I feel is that on this show, we be working with great actors I and mean, a really wonderful cast with Mads Mikkelsen who plays Hannibal, Lawrence Fishburne, you know, these are people that you want to work with and good scripts. So I go home feeling pretty happy and in a way, the more disturbing and dark and weird it's been, the better I feel, feel about the show because that's the tone of it. Right. Makes you feel good about your life at home too, yeah, right? Yeah, then, then I go home and I have a break, yeah. A nice normal part. Yeah. It is very, it's been described as an elegant horror story mm -hmm. and it is, it's, it's graphic but it's tough to turn away from. I guess it's graphic, but I think that what makes you feel that way is because of the the, the psychology, if I can put it that yeah. way, of the show. I mean, we, I think we're all pretty accustomed at this point to seeing dissections and uh, forensic stuff on TV, and we've been almost, um, you know, numbed to it. And uh, hopefully, what we've done is is bring back a bit of feeling to that. Is the set a dark place? No, the set is a disturbingly light place. That's the, <laughs> the most horrifying thing about the show is that if you came behind the scenes, you'd see that we're all having a really good time. Um, so, is there a lot of pranks? You're making jokes? Well, not really. I mean, you know how it is on, on TV. I mean, it's, it's fast moving and uh, you, you have to run just to keep up. So, everybody's pretty, pretty concentrated. But, um, uh, but it, no, we, we, we get along and we have a good time. It really does draw you in. Yeah, it's, it's good stuff. Yeah, yeah, really well written, obviously mm -hmm. great acting. Um, so you just wrapped, though, yes. this season. So now you have a little bit of a break. Yes. You have a three-and-a-half-month-old son. That is correct. Any yes. big plans for your summer, your spring? Um, just to spend some time with the family, yeah. um, you know, have a bit of, bit of downtime and, and be, a, be a dad. Yeah. How is being a dad? He's, he's great. It's a vertical learning curve. Yeah. Vertical is a nice way to look at it. Yeah. <laughs> nice to have you with us this morning. Thank you Thank very you. much. Yeah. You can catch Hannibal on Thursdays at 10, 9 central, right here on NBC.